Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you all how to make a target store uh, here in Minecraft. Uh, sorry for that voice crack, but yeah, here in Minecraft. So pretty nice, uh, pretty nice build. Um, and I will also show you guys um, how to make the inside as well. I'm just going to kind of give you kind of a glance at the interior. I won't show off the whole interior. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so yeah, let's actually just get straight on into this. Uh, so right off the bat, the grid you're going to need is an 82 by 78 block area on the ground. So please do make sure that you build uh, this entire grid uh, in your world if you do plan on making this uh, in your city. Uh, but honestly, just make it in general because it'll make it a whole lot easier, trust me. Um, of course, don't make the numbers, but you know. Um, and then materials you're going to need, uh, luckily you don't need, you know, you only need like a half chest full of materials. Um, so materials you're going to need, you're going you're to need white stained glass, uh, light gray concrete, terracotta, white terracotta, brown terracotta, uh, weighted pressure plate, uh, iron door, quartz stairs, stone button, podzel, uh, any kind of sapling, uh, bone meal, red concrete, cauldron, item frame, white stained glass pane, birch fence gate, block of quartz, uh, cobblestone slab, you're going to need polished blackstone wall, um, sea lanterns, deep plate, deep, deep slate bricks, excuse me, uh, sto smooth stone, yellow wool, white and gray concrete, and then finally polished deep slate slab. Uh, so yeah, you only need like an inventory full of stuff. Uh, and then the materials you're going to need right now are the gray and white concrete, the yellow wool, the smooth stone, um, go ahead and grab the red concrete, um, and then the smooth stone slab, or sorry, not smooth stone slab, the, uh, cobblestone slab, there we go, uh, the podzol, the sapling, and then the bone meal, go ahead and grab all of that, and then once you have grabbed all of those materials, we can begin this, uh, tutorial, so go ahead and start off with five blocks, uh, dig out five blocks on either side of your grid, oops, uh, like this, alrighty, and fill it in with uh, whatever your road material is, that's what I, that's what we're using the gray concrete for. So if your road is not made of gray concrete, make it whatever your road is made of. If, if you're making this in a city, of course, obviously. Um, so yeah, on either side, five um, gray concretes, just like that. Uh, and then just to get this out of the way, we're going to go ahead and actually extend this all the way to the very end of the grid, which um, is time consuming, I'll be honest. Uh, so yeah, you're just going to... Uh, do that on both sides, and yeah, I'll be right back once I'm done. Alright, y'all, once you have uh, done that, uh, you want to come to the front of your target. You want to come to, like, uh, the left. Actually, well, it doesn't matter which side you go on, but I'm going to be on the left. Um, you're going to basically, so from this, like, first row of five, alright, you're going to go up, and then here. So basically, like, if you're facing the other side, uh, you're basically going to go, like, like not on the grid but just beside it you're gonna dig out five rows and then um, again like five blocks not five rows five blocks and fill them in with um, gray concrete and then of course you're just gonna simply extend all five blocks all the way to the other side uh, conjoining to the other side but not only do you want to do that you want to leave a gap of 16 going towards the back of the building um, from this row of gray so you know, leave a gap of 16, and once you have on the 17th block, from there going back, you want to dig out five blocks, fill them in with gray, and then same with that row, you want to go ahead and extend all the way down to the end. Now, for the second one, the second row, um, this like first row that you've made here, you actually want to go ahead and extend to the back here, just like this, so um, like just to the back of the parking lot like area here, or the you know, basically just extend it back to the back of the grid. Alrighty, just like that. Alright, um, so you just want to extend that back there. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, so again, with both rows of five, you want to just extend them all the way to the other side. And, uh, you know, dig them out and fill them in with gray concrete, and I'll be back once I'm done. Once you all have taken care of that, you want to now come to the front of your target again. Alright, so now, leaving a gap from... Uh, well, not a gap. You actually want to leave a significantly large gap, but basically, um, sorry about this being a little out of frame here. 
Uh, but basically, you want so from this like row of gray here, right? You see this? You want to leave a gap of 19. Alrighty, and then you want to um, dig out five blocks and then fill it in with gray concrete. Uh, leave another gap of 19. Uh, gap and dig out five gray concrete, and then just leave another gap of, of 19. So three gaps of 19 in between them are two going to be two rows of five blocks and of course extend those rows of five all the way up to the end uh, or I guess to, or not to the end but to the other side here so just to the other side of the parking lot here so this is so you can like get in between like or like get like through the spaces and stuff so um, but yeah so you know obviously so just extend those to the other side connect them um, and then at the back um, you uh, come to the very back of the store here uh, you want to dig five blocks and extend those all the way to the end as well and then once you've taken care of that, you also want to um, dig out uh, 14 blocks and extend all those 14 blocks all the way to the very end. So, uh, yeah, quite a lot, quite a bit to do, but um, yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. Hey, y'all, once you have uh, completed both of those things, so making the area back there filled in and then those two little areas, uh, you're basically going to take your red concrete and you're going to make a row of red concrete dug into the ground just along here so just like between the uh, these two rows and then just along this row right here so what this is meant to be it's meant to be a fire line so like where the fire trucks park if there's an emergency um, so yeah that's what that's meant to be all right uh, and then the next thing you guys want to do is you want Excuse me, you want to do six row, a row of six, you want to like dig out a row of six smooth stone uh, just behind this red row of concrete here. And then, um, as you may have guessed, you want to go ahead and extend, dig all that out and extend all the way uh, to the other side. Alright y'all, once you have done uh, the stone, the smooth stone uh, part here, um, we can go ahead and continue and you guys may notice that I have like a lot of stuff going on here all that that's just so I know like how to make the building so don't worry about any of those like lines and stuff you see there um, also with your smooth stone actually uh, you want to go ahead on either yeah on both sides uh, no actually no just this left side you want to leave a gap of one two three four 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 14 on this side, and, um, and then, you know, just leave a gap, and then place a row, uh, okay, so yeah, so leave a gap of 14 on this side, on that side, um, and then, on this, on the right side, you actually want to place a row of 14, obviously dig it into the ground, and then place it, uh, and then leave a gap of 5, and then um, uh, do a row. So on that side, you want to just leave a gap of 14, uh, this side, place the row of 14, uh, and then leave a gap of 5, and then place the row of um, smooth stone going to the other side. So, yeah, pretty simple there, uh, just to kind of help you uh, with the building. Um, so yeah, um, so now we're going to do the parking lot. Uh, also, I don't know if I told you guys this already, but the, this grid that's in the middle here, you want to dig that out and replace with grass block. Um, and then you can like put leaves in the middle here. So if I just grab leaves, just any kind of leaf, just to kind of fill this up, uh, you can put leaves here. This is optional, of course. You don't have to put leaves here. If you don't want to, you can put flowers or you can just not put anything. It's your choice. Um, but yeah. All right, so... What we're going to need for the parking lot, you're going to need yourself some white concrete, some yellow wool, some gray concrete, <coughs> excuse me, some smooth stone, a cobblestone slab, podzol, oak sapling, uh, then you're also going to need um, some, uh, some bone meal, and go ahead and grab red concrete as well. We are going to need a few more materials, but we'll just work with what we got. So, alrighty, so on, hmm, okay, so... Let's look at, okay, so you're going to come to, so we have these three squares here, basically, and this is way out of frame, my bad. So you have three squares here of grass block or whatever biome you're using, right? You're basically going to, like, find um, the middle bl three blocks, and the way you're going to do that is you're basically going to just come, um, it'd be easier, you want to come to the, like, towards, more towards the front of the building, 
here uh so like right here you want to just dig out one two three four five six seven eight oh wow two three four five six seven eight. okay good all right and then on this side uh one two th three four five six seven eight and then yeah on each side you want to put uh, a row of eight white concrete dug into the ground and then there's your middle three smooth stone and you just want to dig those uh all the way so middle three rows you want to dig those all the way uh until uh you reach uh the end here so pretty simple um and then yeah so so base and then yeah so basically um do what you just did for the two other squares uh, but not only that you want to leave a gap of three from each row of eight so leave a gap of three and then place another row of eight and do this until you have exactly three blocks away from the like from this side that's like closest to the building if that makes any sense so you, you just want to keep leaving a gap of three and making another row of white um until uh you eventually have a gap of three um on this side and then once you do you want to just uh put a square of cobblestone slab and then dig out the middle and put podzel and yes yeah, so you want to do that for that side and then you want to do um everything um on those sides or on the, for the other squares as well and not only that but you also want to dig out uh the th the top like three blocks here uh of each of the spaces here these are obviously meant to be parking spaces put yellow wool and then dig out each of the parking spaces and fill them up with the gray concrete or you know obviously whatever road material you have but but yeah so pretty simple so um do everything i just told you so the uh the white lines um the the rows of eight each uh three rows away until you reach a three block gap at the end uh at the three block gap you want to make a square of cobblestone slab in the middle dig out and place podzel um put um a r rows of three uh yellow wool at the top of the spaces and then dig out the spaces and put uh gray concrete so and you want to do that for the other two squares as well um obviously finish this first square and did the other two but yeah so that's a lot of work. Uh, I'll leave that up. I'll leave that to you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna do this on, on recording, so yeah, I'll be right back once I'm done. All right, y'all. So we've made um, a bit of an error here. So the middle, uh, like park. So basically, this is what you want to have. By the way, in case you guys are a little confused, this is what you want to have um, for each of these. Uh, but except for this middle one, um, excuse me. So basically, if you you may have noticed on this side, this uh, or maybe you have it. This side is actually. Uh, nine blocks instead of eight well they're supposed to be eight so what you want to do is you want to extend the smooth stone over and then just extend the white concrete delete the white concrete put another row of gray concrete going through here all right and then delete this previous row of gray concrete right here and then um just grab grasp block all righty and then extend this white concrete down here and then make sure that and then and then make this row smooth stone uh four blocks wide so i do apologize about that if you've already done that for these other two spaces i highly or for this other for these other two here if you've already done that i highly apologize you're gonna have to tear out a whole bunch of stuff and do that um so but yeah so just make sure you do that okay guys once you have um added your added that to these as well so basically once you've filled everything up did everything um, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and grab um, you're gonna go ahead and grab your oak sapling and your bone meal uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and plant some trees so you can see uh, these little areas here with the cobblestone and the podzel um, and of course you can uh, use whatever kind of tree you'd like um, I'm just doing oak because I'm lazy but yeah so literally um, I would recommend doing like one block away from the ends and then starting to plant the trees there so you can have, so you can fit two trees um, and totally and of course feel free to decorate this even more like better than I am <laughs> um, add maybe some I don't know some buttons as rocks or uh, maybe even doing something like um, maybe some bushes and or maybe not bushes because that'll match the leaves but maybe um like azalea some azalea in there would look good um you know just and maybe some grass i don't know just stuff like that to kind of decorate it more but you know i'm not i don't really care to do that and sorry about the camera not being there or being good but 
but yeah so then once you've planted the trees um you can go ahead and put those away uh, go ahead and grab a uh, red concrete white stained glass pane cauldron birch fence gate item frame once you've grabbed those uh, you're gonna um, come to any space you want um uh, so i'm gonna come i'm gonna do this middle space here right i'm gonna put uh rows of red concrete yeah so you're gonna put rows of red concrete on the end like this on the ends like this and then you're gonna connect at the at the end like that all right and then on both sides you're gonna go up by one or sorry by two and then come in by one and then up again and then connect at the top like that all right and then in the middle there you're gonna do an item frame with a cauldron and then on the sides here you're just gonna do the white stained glass pane and then you're simply just gonna throw a bunch of cauldrons in here these are just shopping carts this is the shopping cart return of course so yeah and then anytime that um there's like disconnected carts like you see here you just want to put a fen open fence gate at the end of them like that and yeah you can see how that works and then i recommend putting a few because um, obviously it's a big parking lot so um so you know like maybe one right uh yeah like maybe maybe one right here would look pretty good so again just completely outline the space um oh and also i'd probably put them maybe not all in the same like uh so not make all of them in like a middle space like i would definitely put one maybe on the end here like this um so again just outline the space like that and then at the ends here up by two in by one up by one connect and then and then the item frame and oops and the cauldron and then the glass and then yeah, so these are really simple to make. You can make multiple of these. Um, I'm going to try and make a whole row of cards now here. You can even have some some of these empty if you want. Um, you know, it really doesn't matter. But, but yeah, I recommend definitely putting a few of those around your parking lot, you know, because, you know, it's a big parking lot. So, all right. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to also go ahead and do a grab your sea lantern, polished deep slate slab, polished black or polished blackstone brick wall and then deep slate bricks okay so now we're gonna add the parking lot lights okay so the way these are gonna work is you're gonna come to the yellow wool in the parking lot on the parking spaces right okay you're gonna come to the very middle so you're gonna come to each like so there's two of the yellow wools facing each other you're gonna meet them together until you see this middle block right here you're gonna put the bricks block right there and you're gonna do this for every single space here like this now for the middle it's different because it's four blocks wide so it's not even so do the same thing that I told you to do but obviously um, so but instead like put one like so there's two blocks for the middle right so you're gonna put one on the left middle one right middle and then one left middle so they're kind of going on like a diagonal pattern like that so uh, and then you can even put one right there if you want um, but yeah I mean you can do that I think oh never mind that's not exactly even so I guess I, I'm not I'm, I mean you guys can do you guys can put the lights there if you want I'm not going to but yeah so literally again uh, middle of the yellow wool meet uh, mi yellow wools meet them together excuse me I have a uh, some hiccups but all right and then once you've placed the brick block or the blackstone bricks or deep stone deep slate bricks whatever put five wall on top so that's you know three uh, four or five and I'm only going to do this row for now um, I'll do the all the other rows off camera all right and then you're just going to put a deep slate uh, a polished deep slate block on top of each walls like this and you want to put slabs on each side make sure they're facing uh, this way so they're facing towards the spaces don't do this yeah make sure they're not facing this direction make sure they're all oops make sure they're all, they're all on the bottom too by the way uh, or by the way um, beyond yeah so make sure they're all facing the spaces um, the lamps should all be facing one another so that's kind of what uh, a good way to think about it all right and then um, yeah and then put lights underneath the, the slabs and then uh, yeah so then just repeat that for all these other lights and I'll be back once I'm done all right y'all once you have finished the lights that is going to be the parking lot of target 100% completed so good job um, so now it's time to make the building finally so the materials you're going to need for the building you're going to need terracotta white terracotta brown terracotta red concrete block of quartz light gray concrete white stained glass block um, weighted pressure plate and then iron door so grab your brown terracotta you're going to come to uh, this left side of the building here and you're simply going to put a row of 14 at least i believe it's 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. yeah 14 all right 
So yeah, you're gonna put a row 14 and then do the same thing on the very other side. So just simply putting a row 14, just like so. And then extend, so like on each like side of the building here with the road here, um, you wanna just extend it back just like this to uh, the very, um, just to the very like um, back here, like just up into the concrete at the back. So literally you guys can already just tell like how much to extend, it just extends all the way up to the concrete. And then you want to extend it at the back until it is the exact same length as it is on the thr on the front. If you can't tell, just count in by 13, basically. <coughs> so just on the back, you want to extend inward by 13. Um, just so you don't have to, like, line But it would be a lot easier just to extend it, line it up. Pretty easy. All right. So once you've done that, um, uh, you're then going to take your light gray concrete and then diagonal from... So, like... On the left side here, um, diagonal, like on the, so on the front, the left side, diagonal from here, it's like do a bottom right diagonal. You want to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, light gray concrete. Do a bottom right diagonal from that and do and put 2. Um, I think I said bottom left diagonal here. I meant bottom right, my bad. Um, I don't know if I said that correctly. Uh, and then just beside this here, you want to put 2 block of quartz going down. Alrighty. Uh, on the other side here, on the right side, um, you want to do a bottom left diagonal and then one two three four five light gray concrete and then bottom left diagonal from that is one two three four five six seven eight red concrete and then from there another bottom left diagonal and do two uh, quartz so there you go you can kind of see how we're doing that and then for the back of the building uh, you want to so coming to this so if we were looking at it from so like coming to it's so like this is the left side basically um, which is the right side on the front, but on the back is the left side. Um, bottom right diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, light gray. And then from there, red concrete going towards the back, you're going to do one, oops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, going towards the back. Alrighty. And then on this other side here, so on the right side, uh, a bottom left diagonal, um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, light gray concrete and then uh, red concrete beside it literally just line it up with the other side shouldn't be hard at all um, and then just connect at the back so so literally we just outlined the building basically um, that's like you can kind of tell you guys can see the size of it and everything we're gonna go ahead and do the entrance so what you're gonna want to do here is you're so we're gonna start on the left side you see where you have the two quartz blocks you're gonna leave a gap of one put a quartz uh, you're gonna put uh, white stained glass, gap of two, glass, quartz, glass, gap of two, glass. And then, yeah, so then, and then of course between the glasses here, you want to just put your um, doors, and then you can put your pressure plates, make them automatic, right there, all right. And then you just want to put, uh, raise the glass up, and then just kind of connect them at the top of the, the doors, like this. And then that means you can also raise the quartz up um, as well. Alrighty, and then, and then here, right here, you just want to put uh, the, right there, you want to put, um, oh, and then also here, you want to put the glass as well. So you want to put glass there and glass there, just like that, all right? Actually, yeah, no, I think you want the glass down like that, right? Yeah, you do, okay, I think, all right. So yeah, now what you're going to want to do is just place a row of quartz at the top like this. And this time, you're going to put um, one, two, three, four quartz on the end there, and then just connect, and then move over and connect it here, and then move that back, and then just do one, two, three, four glass like that, all right? Uh, and then on this side, you're just going to fill it up with quartz because it's going to be covered by the gray concrete, so. All right, and then, of course, with every quartz, you want to move up to the top like this, all right? And then everything else here is just glass because obviously there's no doors up here. <laughs> So literally just fill this all up with glass. And then at the top, you can just fill this up with quartz. And boom, there you go. There's the entrance. It's really that simple. So yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, no. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Never mind. That's too short. <laughs> of course I made this mistake. All right. Yeah, this needs to be uh, taller. This should have been up by five then, the quartz. Okay. So yeah, you want that to be... Uh, oops, I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> Um, okay, so you want to raise the glass up. Make sure the glass, yeah, the glass wants to be four blocks. That's what the problem was. Okay. 
Yeah, so you see the glass wants to be, yeah, all right. And then you wanna just raise that up. Okay, so I think we actually wanna go ahead and just raise this quartz up and then raise that glass up here at the bottom, so like that. So gap one from the bottom, and or quartz at the bottom, three glass, quartz, and then three more glass, and then quartz at the top, all right. And now, now we can fill it up at the top like this, all right. And there you go, there's the entrance, all right? So then what you wanna do is then just take your light gray concrete and these two blocks right here, oops, you wanna go ahead and raise them up until they're as high as the entrance. And yeah, that's how you make the entrance of Target. Next, with your light gray concrete, you want to take uh, these, all the light gray concrete rows that you see uh, well, except for the ends here. These ones, these two, you actually don't want to worry about right now. But these larger ones, um, you're basically going to um, take them and make them two blocks taller than this row of light gray. All right, so just raise them up, raise all this up until it's two rows higher than that. Okay, and then you can actually just go ahead and just move this on over here to the other side. All right, um, and then just do that. And then, yeah, so pretty uh, timely process, but once you get it done, it's not that bad. Alrighty, uh, oh wow, wow, okay, oh okay, I saw, like, mm. excuse me, I don't know why my, my voice stopped there, but yeah, so it actually, okay, so you actually want it to be like on, over here, so, alright, yeah, so it wants to be just above the, the two light grays right there. Alright, yeah, so you move that over there, and then of course, you know, you would fill this up at the front, um, and don't worry about the sides, obviously, because obviously there's going to be an interior, so I wouldn't do the sides. Um, just don't do the sides. So just do the back, top, and front. So fill all that up with the gray concrete, and I'll be back once I'm done with that. All right, y'all, once you have um, filled up all this, right? So what you guys can do now is we're going to go ahead and do this big red part, right? So you're going to grab your red concrete. And then you're just going to go up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, with your red concrete. And then you're just going to extend it over until it is just above the entrance here. And then you can just extend it down and extend it back. And then just completely just fill up the middle here. All right, just like that. So, And then, of course, fill up this entire wall, which I'm not going to do on camera because it's going to take forever. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do it right now. It won't, really won't take that much time, but yeah. So yeah, literally just fill this up at the front here, like so. And then, oops. And then once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and just take the corners and extend all the way to the this corner right here. And it might also help. And actually, yeah, you really should do this. You should also extend that corner up as well. Alrighty, and then. Um, and just do the same for this corner. Yeah, so really it's just about connecting all the corners together, kind of framing the building. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to fill up the walls and the ceiling. So, um, so yeah, once, yeah, so yeah, just connect all the corners together like this. Um, and then of course that'll just kind of give, it'll give you sections to fill up. So it kind of feels like it's going faster a little bit. Um, all right. And then for, uh, this little area with the, a little area of green, uh, gray concrete, it's as high as this really. So just kind of see where you have the gray concrete here and then just line it up and then just kind of put a gray concrete there just to kind of mark it um, and then just raise this up until it's as high as the marker so really it's just one block lower so really the the red part is one block taller than this part of the gray concrete so um so yeah then you would of course fill that up and then extend these corners to the other corners so really it's this is really easy you're just kind of connecting corners together like so and then of course you would connect this and bring it down and then connect it back all right yeah so this will give you sections to fill in like i said so yeah i'm not going to fill that up in the video but in the recording but yeah literally just fill up the back top and front and then of course here fill up the top um and then the whole back there like so all right and now for the sides um you're just gonna do hang on one two three four five six seven eight terracotta so you're gonna do yeah, so like I said, you're going to do eight um, terracotta all the way around, like so. All right, and then you're, and this is the same for the other side as well. So on both sides, you're going to do eight terracottas. Um, 
and then a singular row of regular, or not regular terracotta, this is regular terracotta. This right here is white terracotta, so on top it's just a row of, yeah, so eight, so on both sides, um, eight rows of regular terracotta, and then on top just a single row of um, white terracotta, so, and then that's for both sides, all right, so, so now, here you, so now you're left here with, uh, Pretty, or I guess I can just do the same thing. Yeah, so like I said, on the other side, it's eight terracotta, all right, and then, um, yeah, and then you guys know the drill, eight terracotta, one white terracotta, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do these corners just so you guys can get, an, hopefully just so you guys can just get an idea of what you're supposed to do, um, so I would, I would just go ahead and do this um, right now, um, so, so yeah, once you have uh, taken care of this, um, you can then fill everything up. So once I've fully, once I've done this here, all right. So this is a pretty big task you have to do now. Literally, it is super easy. You just have to fill everything up. It is, however, it's going to take a really long time. So on the side, you're gonna fill up the walls with the terracotta, and then fill up the top with the white terracotta. You're gonna do that on both sides. And then for this big red part, obviously, you're just going to go ahead and fill up the back, the whole back area, and then the very top with the red. This part's definitely going to take the longest because it's bigger. And then, of course, the gray, ter the gray, the light gray concrete. I would start with that just to get it over with. It's way quicker, so just do the gray, ter the gray concrete first. And then, yeah, like I said, both sides are the terracotta. So, yeah, so do all of that, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. All right, y'all, once you have completely filled up the roof of Target, uh, believe it or not, that is all of, like, the hard, um, you know, like, time-consuming parts of Target, uh, at least on the outside, of course, uh, completed, so congratulations. Um, so now, coming to the front, oh, actually, materials you're going to need for this last bit uh, is iron door, stone button, quartz stairs, quartz block, and red concrete. Come to the front of Target, you see where we have the entrance, uh, this end here, line it up with the front, uh, like, where the... Uh, red the red line is here. You're gonna put just a red concrete. Uh, you're gonna leave a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six. Put a red, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then just a red concrete at the end there, just like that. That's those are meant to be those like red, like ball things you'd see like in the like in front of Target. All right, y'all. Uh, oh. All right, now, uh, now, um, ugh, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Come to the very back of Target here. Um, so like. Uh, this big red part sticking out, you want to come to the very back of it. Leave a gap of two on either side, dig out two blocks, and then put a door and then stone button. Uh, this is obviously just for, like, uh, um, so you can get into the garage, um, you know, area. And also, speaking of the garage area, you want to leave a gap of two, uh, you want to come to the sides of this, like, big red thing now. Um, you want to leave a gap of two and dig out four. Uh, come to either side and do that. One, two, three, four. So there should only be one block in the middle. Extend up. I think it's by three. I think it's by. Hang on. I may be wrong. Don't. Uh, hang on. Don't do too much yet. Hang on. I think it's. Oh yeah, that has. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. So so hash. So the garages should be four blocks tall. All right. Once you've uh, done this on this side. Uh, you just want to do the same thing uh, on the other side. All right, y'all, once you've done uh, the garages on this side, uh, the very last thing, at least I think it's the very last thing, yeah, the very last thing we have to do is make the Target logo. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the top right-hand corner of the entrance, right? You see these two blocks right here at the top right-hand corner. Uh, on this big red wall here, you're going to leave a gap of two again from these two blocks. Leave a gap of one. Uh, I said leave a gap of two. I meant leave a gap of one. You want to put two quartz block all right below it you want to put an upside down quartz stair and then on top of it you want to put a right facing quartz stair in front of those on the top upside down quartz stair on the bottom right facing quartz stair um and then on top of those stairs you want to just put uh, on the top a regular facing quartz stair and then on the bottom a upside down quartz stair um oh wait it's got to be facing the other way there we go all right and then from those stairs you just want to go right by two with the quartz block and then basically just do the same thing on the other side, but, um, yeah, so on the ends here, you want to put on the top a right-facing quartz stair, on the bottom an upside-down quartz stair, and then facing the other way here, on the bottom a right-facing quartz stair, on the top an upside-down quartz stair, and then behind those on the top a right-facing quartz stair, on the bottom an upside-down quartz stair, and then just connect those two stairs together with a 
of two blocks of quartz and then in the middle four blocks here you just want to put um, two uh, right facing stairs on the top and two upside down facing stairs at the bottom just like that and that is how you make the target logo to completely finish off the outside of target y'all so there it is target um you know 50 percent complete <laughs> we still have to do the inside to do obviously but i have to obviously make that tutorial and release it but overall um yeah good job on this build i mean it's a really big build um i think this is by far the biggest build on, i've ever done on my channel uh at least the biggest city build um, so yeah, a really good job if you've made it this far. I mean, it looks really good. So yeah, um, stay tuned for the interior tutorial that will be coming maybe not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. I do plan on doing it tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, uh, but anyway, y'all, I hope you guys didn't end up enjoying this tutorial. If you did, uh, smash a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're new, um, also turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out.